and they weren't all just uh, predecessors to global banking exploitation. Mm -hmm. Many of these were the same kinds of people who ended up doing the Enlightenment in France and the United States. Philosophers clubs. Sure, these guys invest in all sorts of things, right? And that money goes to certain uh, channels which are directed by their well, you don't by you, them, right? But anyway, but you deconstruct but, it. It doesn't matter whether you know, it's it a conspiracy matter. or not. We see what we see. But the problem is, here's the thing. That's the old. The old is them versus us them versus us. I think we need to disengage from that and start building from well, the Well, that's bottom. where in America... Growing up, so here's some growing our own food, establishing co-ops, right. uh, educational co-ops, uh, holistic health centers, or, health centers or that integrate medicines from the earth, from, these, from other so, cultures, so, right. to that's, create that's wellness. A, that's right? the progressive side. Now, on the conservative side, you could model the same thing through yeoman business people. So you can also, you can use different approaches. You can screw anything up or you can do anything excellently. But ultimately it has to be not dependent on the power. People have, it's, 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 it's the funny thing is that people could just do it right now fundamentally by gearing all their strategy to minimize feeding centralized structures like the federal government, mm -hmm. which means you work differently. Mm -hmm. um, you might work for a uh, tax exempt organization. Uh, you might do whatever you could to not feed that thing and then the other thing is to um, to buy locally. If people just do those two things, mm -hmm. it would it would spur a confrontation because it would create a great recession all over the world. But it would not affect people if they had a plan to reconnect. And basically, in my view, I think as I told you, we should take back all the money that was acquired by fraud through government corruption that we can prove mm -hmm. from all these corporations, the military contractors, the banks. It would recover huge amounts of money. And if they don't have the money, we take their land. And it's because what we need to do is restore each person's share. Like uh, when the blacks were freed, it was um, uh, 40 acres and a mule. See, we got to have a 40 acres and a mule program from all that crony capitalist slave owners as reparations. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have the, have the new age of the free man, the freeman, the freeholder. Mm -hmm. And the Jeffersonianism can unite conservatives and progressives and uh, but what you helped me to see this whole Taurus thing in the movie I felt like he was pushing it over things so anyway the guy has elements of scientific thought it was great he was talking about how we all self-censored and not sound kooky uh, because I do believe that if you study all the UFO sighting evidence a lot of major credible people claim they were involved in organizations that had major encounters so you know, my question to this Thrive Movement, if, if I'm going to talk about that, is what if the aliens have contact with the United States government? What would that say? You know, when you look at a guy like Obama, he goes in all peaceful, I'm going to make everything great. Poverty shoots up, he bails out the rich, he invades Libya, bombs Pakistan. Did what happen to him? Do they have like a warmonger ray gun? And Bush claimed, according to uh, Paul, we were going to have a humble foreign policy with no nation building and look what happened to him so i don't want to get into that because right now i'm peeling real evidence out that is actionable i don't need conspiratorial evidence even if it's true it doesn't affect the fundamental problem which is there are people in power that are concentrating wealth and perpetuating a system of basic slavery because we have the resources in the world that we could slow down and not consume. If we didn't consume unnecessarily, we could work quarter time if we had an equitable uh, starting point. Mm -hmm. So, right. shall we end it? I think uh, that's the message for the evening. All righty, sir. Yeah. Thank you. And maybe one last word on, on uh, what this all means. It means uh, a re-spiritualization -spirit of humanity. Because basically what this ego and the its corporate expressions that's created is a disconnect from us to each other, to our communities, to our planet, thus losing our ability to extract that infinite energy that is inherent in these whole systems. So it is a spiritual issue, ultimately. It is a thing of consciousness. Ultimately, well, well, right, but to me that's gravy. Well, I mean, no, you have the to basic speak, issue here. What you're talking about is great. Is that we should get the benefits they promised us in the 50s of automation that were wildly beyond our wildest dreams. In the next 10 years, automation will be able to do so much for us if we don't grab the time now to say we can have access to the resources we need uh, and we can do it 
in a way that's fair, that doesn't involve uh, confiscation of rightfully earned wealth. And of course, it's tricky to talk about unrightfully earned, but these are clear crimes that are well documented in many cases that simply have not been prosecuted as too big to fail. Right. And so that's where you want to start. Is it too big to fail? You, you, you want you've to got to rake off all of the extra trillions they stole from the people and put it in a fund where it's distributed 100% equally to everyone. And then God uh, pray that these communities say, we're going to create these community structures so we can manufacture things, we can do things, so we can drive work to zero through automation locally without being slaves of people extracting stuff out of us. Because if you're dealing with your infrastructure locally and you're using state or federal or you international agencies to be in direct involvement of the supply chain of money, you're screwing yourself. There's no need for the money you pay for a school to ever leave your area. You, you might have mentoring systems that say, here are an online website for kids for their homework. You can have uh, things that are done by everyone together, mm -hmm. and especially with uh, you know open media. Right. So eliminate debt system, open source, freedom of energy, freedom of exchange. Well, it's important with open source is intellectual property. These right. communities well, we, we should to refuse to respect these draconian laws that separate us from the intellect. We're we're, not, we're required to pay to uh, to be able to benefit from the intellectual heritage of humanity pay capitalist bankers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so that I can uh, fabricate a piece of machinery uh, that I want to use in a scenario or anything. Okay. So there it is, folks. Radio. Yeah, in a nutshell. Okay. All righty. Good night. Uh, let's see here. Stop. 22.